All right, the recruit is handling business out there. What did you fight? A grizzly bear? Giant one? Good God, man. Welcome back to Coal Oranges, my friends. Otherwise known as Reason Motib. We have a whole bunch of migrants here and we've got to make rooms for them. Oh, oh my. We've got a lot of dudes to, to, to help out here. Uh, we have a friggin' library coming up. We have a... We have a library coming up. We have a temple coming up. Very nice. We have tables we're trying to build. This place is going to get good, man. It's going to get good. I think I've already put everybody back in their place, right? Well, they all just showed up. And I think what I'm going to do here is... I've already done this. Okay. So we've taken everybody else off of guard duty. Everybody's going back to work. We need to mine <laughs> a lot because we got to make a lot of bedrooms, man. Lots of bedrooms. So we're going to do this on either side. We're going to go... Yeah, whatever, they can share a wall. That's fine with me. I don't care. Most of that's going to be soil, I believe. So what we're going to do is dig out another bedroom here. And we'll do here. Very nice. That'll go for there. Cool. I don't know if I want to dig much more over this way. Maybe we'll go this way. Let's dig in. We'll do rooms like this. They'll be a little bit smaller than the OGs. All right, I'm going to dig all these out and then I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, I've gone through all my labor, added a few more layers to my labor, and then we're doling out a few people. We're constructing a lot of buildings all of a sudden, which is good. This also means we can start smoothing out some spots, which would be really nice, I think. Oh, yeah. There's our Mansion of Tongs, the Dream of the Noiseless. Oh, very cool. Very cool name for that. Not gonna lie. I'm impressed. We got our two dwarves manning the gate. They're some of the noobs, so they have very little training, but they'll be okay. They'll be okay. Oh, we have battle on the surface with giant sparrows. Get to work, gate guards. Get them back. Get them to the hospital, please. Somebody. Anybody. Get them back to the hospital. What are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. We needed that. <laughs> More battle. Fishery worker is fighting. It's alright, we're, we're dealing with the problem. I think we'll be okay. Those gate guards are putting in the work. Getting some XPs. It is reverted to a wild state. Yeah, I know, we need to work on getting a training area in here and a... Train wild animals. We need to do all that stuff. We're slowly getting there. Uh, I think I'm gonna dig further back. Ooh, somebody has taken up a mood. All right, let's go with, I think this is a 5x5, five five, if I'm not mistaken. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll put a little storage area for aminals right there. And then we'll do a little bit off to the side for some of my industries. I think that'll be good. Well, Momo's has taken over. This dwarven workshop, what does he need? Skeletons, rough gems. And skeletons. Okay, so he needs rough gems and skeletons, which we'll get rough gems here shortly. Who do we have as miners? We have a few. Is there anybody not doing anything? Wax worker. Congrats. We'll give you something to do, wax wise. You can wax poetic, if you will. Look at this room, man. This is quite the room. Oh, nice. Well, I think she's going to be okay. She got wrecked out there, but that middle smith is, I think, going to live. I'm going to let everybody catch up on jobs, and once they're caught up and not doing anything, like sitting here drinking and cavorting, as they would, 
I'm going to, uh, well, get something going here. Um, I need to set up butchering. I'll be back. Oh, we have bituminous coal. Oh, hello. We can make coke. Man, we're going to have steel production in no time. This is going to be fantastic. Well, we found Univa dead. One of our originals, I think. Or close to an old temple hammers. Killed probably by a damn giant sparrow. Oh, did he break out of his cage? That son of a bitch. Well, I think he's dead now, isn't he? I think it's dead. It's not stunned anymore. It might have flown off. It's son of a bitch. Oh well. We'll get our revenge, don't worry. It's a highly volatile situation if you haven't noticed. <laughs> well, he'll get buried. In quite the tomb. Oh, the fishery worker Momo's Rothudil has created. Raluk Vitek, a mountain goat bone ring. He offers it to the equivalent gem. Let's see. We just have an ex expedition leader. I don't want to offer it up to anybody just yet. Not until we have a mayor. And we'll make that a symbol of the mayor or the champion or whatever we end up making. But first and foremost, we're going to make... I think this is under farming, right? The Vermin Catcher Shop. So allow me to capture animals out in the wild and then build them into pets and tame them. It'll be good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and chop that so we don't waste time. I'm going to go ahead and build a nice stockpile right here for the animals. And we'll see how this goes. So we don't have a repeat of what happened earlier. All right, the recruit is handling business out there. What did you fight? A grizzly bear. Giant one. Good God, man. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. There's a Yeti skeleton there. The skeleton is agitated, not the dead Yeti. Anyways, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We're getting some bedrooms up and running over here. Some more people don't have to live in the dirt. But we're doing okay. Well, we're still winning out here. <laughs> there is that. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is continue to clear out the woods here because I think they're the big problem. It's allowing stuff to get close to me and I don't like it. They're swooping in from above. Sons of bitches. We're going to keep working on this. I'm going to rearm these traps, keep my dwarves protecting the front gate. They're getting better equipped as the days go on. But we're getting there. Thief. What is it? Is it a kobold? I would assume so. It's a kobold thief. You, you little dirty, dirty bastard. What are you carrying? Did you steal something? Ah, you can't get in because I've got gate guards. Ha <laughs> ha. Get wrecked. Striking a lot of good stuff over here, man. I think this is good. I think this is good. We're slowly getting there. I'm putting some memorials on, some slabs that we've engraved throughout the fort. Maybe some dwarves will appreciate it. We're finally going to start smoothing all of our stone, make this place look nice. Let's get it going, man. Let's get everything up and running. Let's make this place something to be proud of. Ah, the dwarves of the equivalent gem now know a few facts about giant sparrow training. Well, well, well. What do we have? We still have Torikat. Torikat. He never actually escaped. Interesting. We are learning how to tame these things. That's fantastic. Let's make him as a pet. Who wants to have a pet giant sparrow? Oh, we have more thieves coming in. <laughs> I bet they can't get by my my gate guards. They're doing pretty good. I kind of like this setup, having a permanent gate guard duty. We need this stuff all moved in, though. I'm probably going to build a second chest in here somewhere, just because this seems to be full, maybe. I don't know. Well, we're fighting more marmots out here. Chasing that thing down like it's gotten it owes them money. <laughs> I love it. Get them. 
Oh no, our surgeon is dead, I think. This is a terrible land, man. This is horrible. I don't even know what you're doing out there. I don't know. I can't control them all the time, man. I can't control all the dwarves all the time. Sometimes, though. Sometimes I can control them. <laughs> well, we have more migrants coming in. We'll see what we end up with. Should be an interesting bunch, I'm sure. We'll let them stroll in for a bit. We'll see how many we get. Looks like that might be it, like six dwarves, which is great. I don't want huge migrant waves anymore. Okay, we got a bone carver, we got a peasant, we got a weaver, a carpenter, a clothier, a fisher dwarf. I'm gonna assign them to tasks. You're a dabbling miner. Keep at it. All right, my carpenters are also gonna become woodcutters. Same with you, peasant. Get it to work. Boyer, you're going to become a... I'm not going to talk about this. <laughs> uh. Well, 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 a caravan from Ostenolzas has arrived. Great. We'll bring him in and we'll trade. We have fighting going on. The broker is fighting. He is quite competent with his copper battle axe. Apparently not competent enough. What are you doing? Jay. Anyways, we're uh, going to deal with this caravan. We almost have the tavern fully enclosed. Almost. And then I got to put flooring in. So <laughs> there's a lot of work to do yet. Our militia commander's on guard duty. Crushing it out there. All right, what are we going to trade with these guys? I have a couple of extra anvils I'll trade to them. I think they wanted that. So we're going to give it to them. I'm going to look at what else we have here, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Oh, right. I'm trading a little bit of cheese, a little bit of wine. Apparently, it's a very fine wine, or the barrel's very fine. I don't know. Some random crap. I'm going to give them some bars that we have, a couple of... Well, maybe I won't sell them that. I was supposed to sell for a lot more. Oh, well. We'll sell them a couple of anvils. Uh, broke ass leggings and trousers and stuff. Bunch of mechanisms. Yeah, we're going to sell a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to be great. This jet slab that's worth a little bit more money because it's been encrusted in gems. Not very much. I thought we had a lot more. They're bringing me food and leather. Okay. Very, okay, not very much. Not very much. Apparently they have stuff that's worth a lot of money in here. I'll take all your leather, though. Some pigtail cloth, maybe. Maybe not. Pigtail cloth is worth quite a bit, apparently. Uh, so is that. We'll trade a little bit, I suppose. Do I need food? I do need some meat, so I might buy all your meat. Jeez. <laughs> uh, give me all... No, not all that meat. Jeez. Lobster? Hell yeah. Take your... Not that. Never mind. Alright, we're just gonna do this and go at a profit. We'll give them, make them a little bit of money. Oh, apparently we didn't have those available. Oh. Okay. Well, we're gonna go down and get some, uh... Cape spider silk? No? <laughs> Barely not, man. How about pigtail cloth? No? That's not, not enough? I'll buy a little bit of this, I suppose. Yeah, whatever, we'll trade you all that stuff. Let's do it. Apparently the bin is what's worth a lot of money there. Yeah, just give me all that crappy leather. <laughs> I'll take that off your hands. Thank you. Deal. Alright, we just we traded twice. That's pretty good. No trader needed. Thank you. We'll make some stuff. Oh! Clothier shop. Simbrek, you dog. What do we got? We're all the same as ever. Thanks. Thanks for that. Give me your seed. Z. <laughs> Give me your silk and your pigtail cloth, please. That's all I want from you. I don't need anything else. You want sheet and leather water skins. Okay. All right. 
You've claimed the clothier's workshop. You're apparently still working. Okay. Good. Good. Oh no! The fishery worker has been found dead. Still losing dwarves left and right, man. Doesn't matter what we do. We're slowly building this out though. I plan on building this out to be a bit of a keep here. We'll use this as kind of like the the edges of it. Oh, Sibrek has made a bell-shaped cave spider silk shirt. She claims it is a family heirloom. Good. I hope you wear it. Proudly. Well, he is beating that agitated mountain goat to death with his bare dwarf hands. Damn. <laughs> he ain't messing around. These agitated mountain goats are getting what's coming to him. What I need to do in the near future is really build out a lot more storage for foods and stuffs. So I'm going to do that. We're going to make this into a nice extra little. Yeah, fuck it. We're just going to go big. Well, well, we have more migrants that came after this caravan. I guess that word travels fast. <laughs> what are we up to? Well, we're getting quite a few. I'm glad I'm building a lot of bedrooms. Welcome to Cool Oranges, my friends, from the mountain homes. I think that's it. Uh, let's sort and see what we have. We have some wounded. A siege operator, a peasant, times three. Thrice the peasants. We have a trapper, we have an engraver. We get a woodcutter, a milker, a leather worker, and, engra and two engravers. Okay. And a child. Okay, well, let's go ahead and assign them some tasks. We have a miner as well. Okay. All right, peasant. You're going to become a planter. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I may have to specialize my tasks a little bit more. Look at all this giant raven bone. Crafts. Very nice. I need more storage, clearly. I'm going to fabricate a few iron picks while I'm at it. We need more. We'll do five. Oh no, the peasant that had infections has died. Well, we'll throw him in the tomb, I guess. Do we have any open tombs? We don't. Let me remedy that. No, I don't have any doors. Damn. Damn. All right, we need to make wooden doors and stuff. Let's do that. We'll add wooden crafts. Wooden furniture, if you will. There we go. Okay, I've set up orders for stationing at the guard gate, or at the gate, with at least two of my dwarves. I'm probably going to tell them to do it for the rest of the year, too. But I'm going to have them alternate with the other guys. They get three months to train. And then they get uh, the rest of their time off duty if they're not assigned to gate guard duties. Look at me. <laughs> Doing my old NCO work. Anyways, we're going to go back to this. I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this element, the Tomes of Magic, three months to train. Probably granite, slate, and obsidian. So we're going to do copy... Paste, paste, and paste. Yeah, I'd like everybody to do that. Looks like they are short a few dwarves. Funny, because dwarves are short, right? <laughs> Just like me. All right, leather worker, you're now on duty. Uh, who else is on duty? Anybody not assigned anything? Siege operator, you're going to get good at fighting. There we go. Cool. We're good to go, man. You're going to have some extra elements up here. Manning the crossbows. I think that's great. We're getting some more training rooms over here. I might add some offices for these guys over here. Maybe. I like having the armory down here for everybody. So we'll just make this into a full armory. I'll dump this stocks, stockpile. We'll just put more weapons racks and stuff in here. Really? Dwarfs? You must attack. 
go. Stat. We've lost two in that fray. Alright, go back to your assigned duties. We'll get them. Yeah, we lost. Fickard the Trapper. Pretty new. Pretty new. Unfortunate. <sighs> we need to finish this. We need to finish this. We need to get these walls up. The problem is it's all flying bastards, which means we need more crossbow dwarves. We need more of them. We've got this room set up, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna build in a nice office for this militia captain. I don't know that they need a dining room, but I might do an office and then a bedroom off of this. This might be, this might be not great. We'll do one over here too, just cause, you know, I wanna reward these guys. And you're gonna live down here. There we go. We'll need a nice archery space. So we'll do a range over here. Uh, do we have doors? No. Still working on that, apparently. Ugh. Oh, thieves! Let me guess, more kobolds. Good luck, kobolds. Oh, we have trained now. Oh, they're not partly stray. Very nice. Well done. Two kobolds coming in from the southern reaches. They must be living in the mountains. I'm going to build the last few little blocks here out of conglomerate. Oh, that's wall. Great, we just lost a diagnostician. Ugh, what are you dwarves even doing out there? There's no task for you to do out here. I can't control them all. If they want to go out there, that's on them. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, another another dwarf down. We need to build more tombs, it would appear. The recruits are fighting, finally. They're taking some wounds, but they are fighting. Did we lose one? Yeah, we lost a recruit. Well, nice try. <laughs> lost two. Get a couple of wounded out there. But they we're winning the day, slowly but surely. Oh, boy. What a mess. A dwarven child has been found dead. Damn, that was our only child in the fort. No. We need more tombs. The legendary bone carver better not die. What are you doing out there? What the hell are you doing? Go home, dwarf. I don't understand why they're out here. I don't get it. Are you going to fish? Yeah. Why are you fishing there? Do I need to turn off fishing? I'm going to turn off fishing. Forget fishing. F fishing. We're done fishing because I think that's what's sending a lot of them out, man. I think they're going out and getting killed. Uncool. Other recruit. Suzz cool. What are you doing? You're fighting very well. Well done, says cool. Stukos is not doing great. Oh no, the rest of, wrestler has been found dead. Yeah, yeah, probably one of the other dudes. Damn. We're taking heavy losses here, as is to be expected in this place. Dishmab, the bone carver. Is that my legendary bone carver? Oh no. No, okay. Well, you need to get your ass back, buddy. I've turned off fishing. No more fishing. Not for now, anyways. Maybe when we get to the caverns, you can go fishing again. Jeez, we're losing so many. What I need are a whole bunch of drunken assholes to go to that tavern when we get it up and running. A lot. <laughs> a lot of them. All right, well, it's done. We just need to get some flooring in here. 
84. Are you kidding me? I don't have that much. It's going to take a while. We're going to get the floors eventually, but not yet. hitting whetstone over here too so this stockpile's done <laughs> well actually we might be able to dig it in this way we'll try it Good. We're felling trees, which means we'll get a bunch of wood, which will really help. I don't know where the hell you're going. Your water source is here. I told you to get water there, not out there. Son of a bitch. I need to get a friggin'. I need to get a well going. ASAP. Do we have any doors? Why do we not have doors? Can we hurry up, please? <laughs> Be nice. Well, our giant sparrows are now regarded as pets. He's trained. I'm going to release him out here for defensive purposes. I'm going to expand this just a wee bit. I'm putting you out here. Let's get all these new animals in there, too. There we go. They're trained, allegedly. Allegedly. Let's let them out of their cage. Oh, look at this. We have our two trained giant sparrows. I hope they will help us fight. <laughs> They've got hope. They've got hope and high stamina, apparently. Strong and clumsy. Do we have a male and a female? No. Oh, well. They can go nuts out here. Go fly around. Maybe they'll just leave. I don't know. We'll allow them as pets. Have fun with your pet birds. Hey, look at that. We've got crossbow doors ready to go. Nice. All right, we're getting doors. We're going to get an office for a bookkeeper. Because they need one. Obviously. Uh, bookkeeper, where are you at? Here you go. Enjoy. Smooth that, please. Smooth all this. Get all this smooth so everybody can work in a nice, clean aesthetically pleasing environment oh they're just flying around they might actually defend our fort from above dude that'd be awesome that would be great i'd love it well we found a piglet dead we are getting the walls all done we have two dwarves dead damn of course it's the fisher dwarves well you guys are fighting these guys good job mostly beating that thing to death or goes its guts or somebody's guts. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, this is terrible. We're, we're fighting, man. We're doing what we can. We've got a lot of wounded. The school of Hard Knocks is the best teacher. Make a damn door already. Jeez. I'm going to go ahead and check my hospital. Make sure I have somebody assigned to each task. I do. I do. We have buckets. The only thing we don't have is soap. We have plenty of powder, too. Cool. That means we can make casts. Nice. Nice. We need to get our soap making going, so I think I'm going to make a soap maker's workshop right here. Uh, we'll make that out of native copper, because why not? Make it nice. And so begins the year 114. Let's take a look at the world and see what's going on news and rumors wise. Not much. Not much. Oh, the folded grizzle crystal. 60. At that fort. 100, 100. These are all the mountain holes. Interesting. There are a lot of hillocks out here. So we're not doing much besides... We have no contact with the wealthy ticks. Eventually that's going to change, I feel. Eventually. Oh, they own the hillocks over here. Ooh. 
ooh, maybe we need to start retaking this. There's my abandoned fort that was supposed to be an ocean fort. Anyways, not much as far as rumors. We're just not getting much information. That's why we need to get the tavern up and running. Hey, look. It's Torridcott. You're doing good out here. Somebody's fighting. Go figure. The armorer is fighting. Do you yarf everywhere? I think I'm going to dump this here because I don't want people working up here doing this, this stuff. I'd rather you just only plant stuff, personally. All right, what I'm going to do is build this out into... I can't remember if this needs to be a dining hall. <sighs> Let's just do a meeting area. All right, we're going to get a new inn and tavern, the Constructive Cook. Who wants to be a tavern keeper? Not the militia commander. Oh, he'd be very good at handling business. Congrats, Godin. Who's going to be my dancer? Mm. You recruit. You're a good dancer and musician. Enjoy your time up here. We need goblets. We need instruments. This is available for everybody, so we'll see who we get. Oh no, we have ghosts. <laughs> I, I need to get these guys buried, or at least... Slabs engraved in their name. Aesob, here you go. Sorry, man, I'm trying to get this done. But nobody's making doors. We're not Mordor. We're less door. We're Cowbell. We're trying to get things done, man. We're really trying. More battle. Who now? The herbalist. Are you actually fighting or are you just panicking? You're beating the poop out of that thing. Yeah. Yeah, you build that competency in fighting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and chop a few more trees, mainly that one. And I think I'm going to peel this all the way back. Get a nice flush with that entrance. Oh, go away, animals. I don't want any. Well, Oodle, the dancer, has been found dead. Where? Oh, God. Beat him up, Weaver. You got this. Are you like, you're overexerted. Where are my guard dwarves? What are you doing? I know you're in training right now, but geez, come on. Give me some help out here. Kill that thing. I thought they had it, but they're getting overexerted. Ah, we have saved the day. Great. Thank you. We have a Mark Storff visiting. Good. This will get us some key talent. <laughs> I think. I think it'll be good. Go away, ghost. I'm trying to get you memorialized. I'm really trying. I'm trying very hard. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, an elven caravan. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. They're going to be like, well, where did all these trees go? And I'm going to be like, shut your dirty, dirty mouth. You stupid tree-hugging hippie. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this into a tomb. We're going to go ahead and just make this into a tomb because uh, I need to. <laughs> I need people to get buried. I'm trying to burrow out down here too. Let's see what we can do. We'll see what they want to trade. What do we have for them? They're probably going to be like, you can only cut three trees. Shut your face. All right, let's go to bins, I think. We've potentially got a lot of crafts that we could sell, and hopefully they're actually separated. I'm going to have to make separate stockpiles, I think, if I want to do that, though. Bars and blocks. Um, don't need bars and blocks. Finished goods. What do we have in here? It's worth about four grand. I mean, that's a lot of crap. I'm willing to sell all that as long as there's not like an artifact in there. There is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. What does this finished good bin have? 
Lots of figurines. Ooh, part of a instrument. I think a lot of this is damaged stuff, so I'm willing to sell them this whole bin of crap. There we go. Trinkets and baubles paid for in blood. Come on. No, there's another thing. Ugh. I need to create some stands or something. Okay, uh, we're going to sell you food because we're really good at making food, apparently. Or something. Maybe not. Maybe we're pretty shit at it. Really? Normally this sells for a lot. Do we just have terrible cooks? Is that what's going on? I don't know what to sell these dorks. I don't really have anything for these goobers. I really don't. <laughs> I could sell you coffins. I got plenty of those. I got Nicolas Cage. <laughs> okay. I'll shut up now. Alright, elves. I'm going to sell you some bars. Because I have a lot of bars and I suspect the deeper I go, the more of this crap I'm going to find. So I'll sell you two of those and we'll call it a day. So they should be coming in here. Yeah, maybe they'll get eaten by something and I'll take all their stuff. You know, things happen. Oh my god, just constantly in battle. Constantly in battle. Keep beating them up. Yeah, get them. Gate guards, putting in the work. Oh, mysterious. Asmel, huh? What are you going to do, Asmel? Stone workers workshop. What are you working on? Apparently you're going to get whatever it is you need. Great. Hurry up and rest. We got to sell some crap to these elven fops. <laughs> uh, they're getting ready. Stukos, are you in the medical wing? You are. You're seriously injured and knocked unconscious. Somebody get to that friggin' trade depot, please. I don't care who it is. And trade whenever they're ready. Okay. They're willing to give me a lot of money for this. Good. Well, I mean, a decent amount. You've got seeds. I'll take all of the seeds. Lots of leaves and fruit. Okay, I'll just buy all your food. And we'll give you a decent profit. Enjoy. They left? Already? I'm confused. <laughs> Did they see what I've done and they're like, get out of here. Oh good, migrants. We need more. We need more meat for the fodder. For the meat grinder, rather. Where's that Mark's dwarf that was uh, joining me here? I'm going to go ahead and lock this, by the way. It's not passable. It is foreboding. Pretty big migrant wave. We're getting quite a few. Quite a few. We'll see what we have. They've already left, man. I mean, I, I traded with them. <laughs> and then they're just like, now we're out of here. Nope. All right, we're up to 59. I think that's it. Let's take tally of what we got out of this new wave of migrants. We got a tanner. We've got a bunch of peasants. We got an armor, stone carver. Good. Fish cleaners. Don't really need them right now. A beekeeper. Nice. A dedicated butcher, a shearer. Two butchers, I, no, that's, mm, they probably came in and they just kicked him off that. Okay, not bad. I guess that's going to be it for now, folks. I'm going to go ahead and assign them their tasks. We're going to get some more stuff done, but man, we're getting there. We've got the tavern started at least. We've got a lot of work to do, but we'll do it in the next episode. Thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Oh, hey, look. A farmer's guild has been established. We'll have to get that going soon. Bye-bye.